So badass has never looked back. I think the trailer came out really well. I think the outcome was awesome. It was just so dramatic and it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It just seemed so perfect to do like a two and a half minute theatrical trailer and just do all the shots we wanted to do. I really wanted an excuse to over and under crank. So I was just joking around with, with Anthony, who was the DP on this. It really helped propel the story. It was really a motivating factor for the story. It wasn't just because, hey, the HVX undercranks and overcranks, let's use it. We actually had an excuse and a reason to use it. The undercranking makes the car look like it's going so much faster. In reality, they were going probably 35, maybe 40 miles an hour, which is still pretty fast, but the undercranking was, it really made it look like they were going a lot faster. And we overcranked on the track, on the dolly track, which was beautiful. Uh, we overcranked at 60 frames per second, played back at 24, so it was like two and a half times slower. Corey Walker was immediately who I wanted for the lead officer role, the road cop. Uh, he just looks like if like Michael Chiklis and the guy who played the partner in Assy McGee had a baby, that's who he'd be. It's, it's perfect, perfect cop attitude. So we obviously wanted Corey. Uh, the biggest challenge I would have to say would be going from the regular sunglasses to the aviators. That uh, was, I don't know, it was a big change for me. Carl Bonecki plays his partner who gets killed in the beginning. Uh, that was kind of a last minute thing that I think worked out beautifully because they had great chemistry together and you could, you kind of got this connection even in that short amount of time that you see them together. I got casted as the other drug dealer. Um, also last minute. Kind of works out because I knew what I wanted, so I did what I wanted to do. The director, that's what I can do. Um, so that's nice. And then, and then we, we had Andrea, who you don't see her face, but you hear her lovely voice um, as uh, the main cop's love interest. Um, you gotta throw the love interest in there, even though she's in there for a few seconds. I casted my brother as the murdering drug dealer. Um, just look at him. You see him right now? He's shooting him, right? He just looks like he should be doing that. So that's why we casted him. Um, and then Tim Howe, it just makes a cameo as Tim Howe being thrown up against a brick wall. I was second unit cameraman. I was the makeup department for, for the second day of shooting. Um, I did the graphics, but but not the um, compositing. You can just beat up Tim Howe anytime you want, so it doesn't matter. If you see him at Ops, just punch him in the face, because that's what he's here for. Jay Rinaldi as the captain. Jay Rinaldi! We were sitting in class one day, and he gave somebody the stink eye. Jay Rinaldi. And it was... it was intense. It was scary. We all feared for our lives, literally. Jay Rinaldi. We need a, we need a captain. We, I said to Carl, I said, we should, we should see if he wants to do it. Jay Rinaldi. So we asked him and he said yes. And it, it just worked out phenomenally. I don't think anybody else could have pulled that, that off. Um, a little bit of Napoleon complex helps, I think. I think that's what does it. I don't know. What do you think, Jay? Jay Rinaldi. The last scene where Captain Feltbeard was walking away from the uh, Mach, 2, uh, Mach 0.5, Nissan Maxima, Mach 0.5, note that. Uh, we, we composited with uh, the green, same green screen during the daylight, and so there was still a lot of spill on the back of them, but luckily we used a little bit of a backlight, so that eliminated the spill, and it worked out really well. It looked, it looked great. You, you see the beginning of the explosion, and then it goes like back, sort of like you're moving backwards kind of thing. I thought that was pretty cool. It really looked like he was walking away from an explosion with a great depth of field. Um, you guys should go check out the trailer if you haven't seen it already at my Vimeo. Uh, Mike Duca, just type in badasses never look back and you should be able to find the trailer. Are we still rolling? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jay Ronaldi. <laughs>